We see different outro screens in different sorts of YouTube videos. Today, we're going to talk about how to make a YouTube outro for a vlog video just like this. If you are interested in this topic, keep watching. To create a stylish YouTube outro for our vlog video, we want to use a background picture with a solid color and a white noise video. Create a new project in VideoProc Flagger. Add them to the software. Then we drag the background picture to video track. Add a white noise video to overlay track. Adjust the size and position in the preview window to make it overlay the entire background. After that, we adjust the duration for the background picture and the white noise video to make these two the same length. Then we go to the inspector panel on the top right, scroll down our mouse to find blend mode. We have made many tutorials about the creative uses of blend modes. Feel free to watch them on our channel. Here we select multiply. We can preview the real time result over here. In addition, we can spice up the background. For example, we go to the effects icon and select it. Choose border and drag this effect to the effect track. Use the mouse to change its duration. We can also adjust the size from the inspector panel until we get a desired outcome. The background now looks much more engaging, isn't it? Now, let's edit the main material for this outro. Import an up-tempo song. Drag it to audio track. Change its duration to make it the same length as a background video we've created. Use the shortcut M to mark the bits. This can make the changes of text in our outro feel more rhythmic. Next, we want to extract some keywords for our channel. Click on the titles icon on the left top, find the loved preset, drag it onto subtitle track. Adjust the length to align with the first marker. Then we go to the inspector panel to edit the text content. Choose the font and changing the size. We can also hit edit text and choose the loved preset from the style menu. Hit apply to apply the change. We just finished the edits for our first text clip. Now we can use the shortcuts Ctrl and C to copy that text clip. Move the playhead forward and press Ctrl and V to paste that clip. This can help us add multiple text clips quickly. After that, we adjust the duration for the new text clips to make everything line up with the markers perfectly. I want the text in the YouTube outro changes along with the beat. So for each text clip, I'll input different content, select a different font, and adjust the corresponding font size. Finally, we get an outcome look like this. Apart from that, we can go to the text icon on the toolbar and select it for adding a thanks for watching ending screen. This is very common scene in the outro of videos. But don't forget to scroll down our mouse to find the animation to add a fitting effect. This can give our outro video a more natural and a seamless look.
Last, we're going to make the most important part of our outro. YouTube subscribe bell and a likes reminder. Drag it to Video Prog Vlogger to add it to our footage. Firstly, let's click on there. Select Add a New Overlay Track and a New Audio Track. Then we drag it to Video Track. Right-click the mouse and select Detach Audio. We now get a separated subscribe audio on the audio track. After that, we drag this video clip onto Overlay Track 1. Line up the audio clip with the subscribe footage. Drag the subscribe audio clip to the audio track 1. Adjust their durations so they are the same duration as the background video we've made. Last, we click on a subscribe video to select it. Find the chroma key on the inspector panel. Simply click on enabled to remove the green traces. Adjust its size and position on the preview window. Alright, that's all about creating a YouTube outro for a vlog video. Hope this tutorial can help you. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We'll see you in our next tips. Hope you enjoy. Bye.